Virgil Abloh needs to be remembered as one of the most important contemporary artists of our time. He used fashion, music, and design and art in general to speak on the black plight, slavery, consumerism, advertising. Let me give you some examples. When he got appointed as creative director for Louis Vuitton, he started adding these ceramic chains everywhere, especially this orange one. There are two symbolic meanings. The first is of chains securing luxury goods in stores so that people don't shoplift them, usually black people, or that's the stereotype. And the second is orange chains that were used on black people when they were shipped to America on boats as slaves. The fact that he got millions of people to spend millions and billions of dollars on these orange chains is like wild to me. Like people probably don't even know the meaning of that chain. Second is his collaborations with Nike and Ikea. I like to compare him to Andy Warhol because they both understood the power of advertising and the mix between high culture and low culture. They're both able to understand world trends and combine them into something that people want to consume. For Andy Warhol, it was celebrity culture and like Campbell soup everyday things. For Virgil, it was high fashion, off-white, mixed with cheap goods like Ikea and Nike because he often heard that people say his work was too expensive. Even when you look at his furniture, it is just classic minimalist design, contemporary art. It's not really realistic, but it's intriguing. He really perfected his craft across all of these different industries. Lastly, music. We all know he was a DJ, but he worked with Kanye, obviously, and Jay-Z on things like Watch the Throne. The album cover is actually a brass plate which reminds me of the brass work from early renaissance such as the gates of paradise he's elevating hip-hop culture to the same level of art history giving it that prestige anyways i think all of his works throughout his career are just pieces of art for him to tell stories so yes obviously he did so much for the streetwear industry and high fashion but i think for me he is more of a contemporary artist and uh, it's a really, really, really sad day.